Hey guys, welcome back to Flying in Space with Planet Head. This is my second try at making a video tonight. I'm going to be posting this a little bit later than I normally like to. I got about 10 minutes into the first video and then realized I accidentally hit the mic off. So um, I'm going to try to repeat everything that I just said. Um, hold on. I just said a lot of stuff. Um, long story short, I got a couple pieces of news. Um that um, I'll go through in the video, and some of them are, you know, I like to look on the, hello, Maya, well, you know Maya now, by now, Maya has been learning, tried to wear her out earlier today, so, okay, that's good, she's having a tough time because she hears me talking, she hasn't figured out that I'm not talking to anybody here, so she thinks I'm talking to her, I think, but you're doing okay, we're going to learn, good girl, good girl, maybe if I just rub her ear here for time. So, uh, long story short, uh, three things that came up today, um, and then a little fourth one that I'll throw in at the beginning of this video, but I'll talk about that really at the end. The first one being, if you notice here, I am in my Abyss, um, my uh, Corvette that they give you for free. Why is that? Because I died this morning in my Cheetah while I was getting ready for work. Um, so I'll show you guys, or tell you what happened there. I'm not horribly upset about that. You have to expect that to happen. I'm really surprised I lasted as long as I did. But I have some really useful information for you guys that might be able to help you to not die. Um, so if that comes, so I'll talk about that first. But the other things that I have that I'll bring up in the video are, and I'm trying to remember them now because I just, <laughs> I just said them all. Um, I got an email from CCP, um, about a request that I put in a couple months ago. Uh, another little piece of bad news there, but nothing terrible. I was pretty much expecting it. And then, um, thirdly, there was a, uh, comment, which is actually probably the fifth or sixth person who's commented on this. It's kind of positive, but it's kind of interesting to me. Um, fellow, I just read it. Um, he actually said that he likes listening to my videos while he's driving into work. Now, I'm hoping he's not driving in and watching me play. But, um, so I appreciate that. And maybe I'm just going to keep sticking with this whole daily do whatever I want to do. And if I think of something that's helpful, I will. But I appreciate that comment. It's, it's not the first person that said that. Um, so, uh, but those are... Uh, that's really not something I'm, as far as what I'm doing, um, I'm, I have my abyss now and then the, uh, what was the last one? There was a last little, oh, at the very end, I literally just watched a video. And it's a very simple video. Um, at the, I will point it out at the end of this video, uh, that I thought was really informative. Um, and it was very simple and basic, and I've heard, not something I haven't heard before, but I like videos that are basic and give you straight information. So I'll post that up. It has nothing to do with Eve, but more so. But that'll be at the end, so if you don't get to that point. Um, but I really want to dive into my dying earlier today. I wish I would have gotten a video of it. Um, and... Uh, give you the instance that happened. And if you want to look up the kill mail, you can. It's under William Pilgrim. Um, feel free. Um, <laughs> but I'll pull up the map here and show you. So if you were watching yesterday's video, I was doing some scanning out in uh, Nullsec. And I'd gotten some pretty good run. Um, I think I had gotten over the course of like two hours over two days of uh, just little bits of gameplay, I've been able to get about 80 million isk worth of, maybe about 70 million isk worth of goods um, that I was uh, in the Great Wildlands um, with my cheetah. I'm going to miss her, but we'll get another one. Um, and I got out of the Great Wildlands, and I was so tired, and if you watched the end of the video yesterday, uh, I basically just docked up. First station I could find, I docked up at. Um, and that was my first mistake. Um, and now that I think about it, um, now it's not a horrible mistake. It's always not too bad to dock up on something, but, um, 
something that I used to do. No, no, no. Off you go. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Um, something that I used to do was I used to actually log off in space, and I would have been safer doing that. And I'll tell you why. And I'll, I'm going to do a little bit of a deep dive here. I, I started a little bit of deep dive on my break at work today, but maybe I'll even learn a little bit more while I'm going through this. But if you remember yesterday, I came out through from the Great Wildlands into Derelict, and then I dropped down into, uh, I think it's Uanzin, uh, U-A-N-Z-I-N, and there's a station there, and I just docked up right there. Okay, with the goal of, okay, when you're more awake or more, you know, when you're not, when you wake up tomorrow, just uh, get back in your ship and take your stuff to the market or at least some place that you can drop it off at. What I should have done was do one of three things instead of docking up at this station. And I have nothing, and I want to preface this, I have absolutely nothing against the guy who killed me. Um, he has every right to shoot me. When you undock in EVE, um, you are consenting to PvP, even if you're not on a PvP ship. I 100% believe in that. And he has set up, and I will show you my deep dive as to what he's doing, so maybe you can watch out for it. Um, uh, but what I, I will tell you what I should have done, and then I'll tell you how I died. So one of three things that I should have done, number one was what I talked about earlier. I could have just, I was cloaked up in my cheetah. I very easily could have warped to a safe spot and just logged off in space. Um, if somebody can track me down in 30 seconds um, after I've decloaked while I'm directionally scanning, um, then they have every right to shoot me. But that is the easiest way to just log off in space because when you log back in, um, you are out of a station, you're out of harm's way, and you can get your bearings straight, especially if you have a cloaky ship like I did. You can log back in and just cloak up and then get a good feel of where you're at. The second thing that you can do, which is better, I'm not saying it's the best thing that you can do, but it's better than what I did, is um, you can log off, find a player-controlled station, um, and log off there. Um, just dock up, log off, because when you undock, you'll be then tethered to the station and indestructible, at least in for a little bit, for, until you move away or you get knocked off of it, but that would be pretty hard to do. But you can't be instantly killed like I was. Um, the third one is don't log, don't dock up in low sec when there's only one station in the system. And that was the major mistake I did. Now this guy who's here, now that I've actually looked up what he did, um, or at least I'm getting a feel for what he did. Um, he set up a nice little trap here, and if it helps you guys to look out for these things, I'm going to show you what I think he's been doing, and then um, hopefully it will show you. So uh, to tell you what I did yesterday and then how I died today, um, so yesterday I docked up in Yuanzen, and I'll just pull this up here. Uh, this is Yuan's system. Okay. Come on, little sucker. And I will tell you, I don't know what... Oh, it has one station. Only one station. I've talked about this in the past, about being safe, be, being in an alpha character, not having a cloak. I always like um, staying in a station, a system that has multiple stations, because they can't zero in on one and camp it. Um... Now, I, the second part is I didn't have an undock um, uh, jump point set up in the station. I, I had just logged off thinking, I'll be fine tomorrow, don't need to think about it. The third thing was um, I woke up early, um, about 30 minutes early, and I thought, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm early, let's get this done, and then I'll get a good breakfast and get going. I wasn't awake yet. So um, I didn't do the proper research whenever I logged in to see who was there and what they were doing. And it would have been very, very simple for me to figure out not to undock if I would have just done one thing. Um, and I'll show you here. Um, and it, it really, you just have to do this in certain situations. Like I was, I knew I was in a station without an instant 
uh, undock warp spot. So I needed to be a little bit more careful, but I wasn't awake yet. I hadn't had any coffee yet, speaking of which. So as soon as I I booted in, I saw there was one other person in the system. I was like, eh, whatever. And I almost instantaneously undocked. As soon as I undocked, I saw a battleship sitting right off of the undock, literally within a thousand kilo uh, a thousand meters of me. And I'm like, oh, what's going on here? And again, still not awake. Normally I would undock and just warp away, but I'm just kind of meandering about in low sec like a dummy. And suddenly he's targeting me. And now I'm starting to wake up. And then suddenly he's I'm down into armor. Then suddenly I'm dead. Um, and so I, I ended up just docking back up and blowing up my clone because I didn't have any implants into it and going into my clone that had the implants. So that actually helped out a little bit there. I, I lost the loot. I lost my cheetah, but I learned something from it. But here's what I can pass on to you guys. So um, I'm going to go into Z kill board and I'm actually going to pull up my death. Z kill board. And we're going to type in William Pilgrim. There we go. And this is going to be a little bit painful to see my little ship died. Oh, wow, I did. I lost. So, 100. there's my death right there. 119.82 million. Uh, I would say probably, well, we'll find out. I think probably about... 80 million of that is from the loot that I had. Um, oh, wait. I did have a Sister's Core probe launcher on there. I must have gotten that off of somebody. I think I did because I have never actually bought a Sister's Core probe launcher. <laughs> um, and then I had the covert. Oh, a bunch of this stuff was stuff I had looted <laughs> from other people. Not people that I destroyed. I scavenged this off of other wrecks. Um... But my actual ship was worth probably about 25 million esque, I think. But then I did have a lot of loot that I had found. So, um, there's a cheetah. Oh, the cheetah is only worth 19 million esque. Okay. So, you see my death here. If you want to check it out, you can. But here's the fellow that killed me. Again, nothing against him. Um, he's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. Uh, his name is uh, Citizen413587. Uh, <laughs> um, not a big deal. He was flying a Praxis. Okay. Um, now, here's the big thing. If you, all I had to do, he, I think if I remember correctly, he was the only guy in system. All I had to do was pull up if I would have taken an extra 30 seconds, pull up Z kill board, look at citizen 413587, and then look at his deaths, his kills. Notice here, <laughs> December 16th, Yuanzin. December 15th, Yuanzin. December 14th, Yuanzin. December 13th, Yuanzin. Are we seeing a, uh, um, a constant... No, no, Maya. No, Maya. I know you're mad that I died earlier today, but that's okay. It's okay. You're doing good. Good girl. Um, he is camping out the system. And what he's done, my, my, now he did it to me, so I'm assuming he's doing this either at the station or at the gates. He's sitting off the undock and just waiting for people to undock and blowing them up. And if you look at the different amounts that he's getting, for, notice no red. There's absolutely no red here. I think down the road there is like one death that he had on page two or three uh, when I was looking at this. But every single one of these is in New Anzin. Now this isn't, um, when I say this, okay, you got to watch out for New Anzin with this fellow. But this could be other areas. And what he's done is he's found a system that's quiet. He's the only one there. Um, notice all these are solo kills too. Um, but he's found a, a system that is quiet, that has one station, so he knows exactly if somebody docks up, 
they're going to be leaving that station. And if they're not doing it correctly, and if he's got his ship fitted correctly, he can do instant kills like he did to me earlier today. Um, he does... I did take a little bit of time. He has died it two or three times in that Praxis, um, and there's a, one or two different fits for it. But he's been doing this for a long time. And if you really look at... I think his Praxis is worth somewhere between 300 and 400 million ISK. But just look at this one page. This one page that he's making ISK off of. From I killed it this just yesterday. An Asterio, uh, one, uh, 16, 116 million. Yeah, there's uh, William Pilgrim died. Uh, 119 million. 225 million. He killed a... Um, what is that? That is a... Is that a zealot? Yeah. Um, then the next day, or the day before, he killed over 600 million isk. So this is definitely profitable for him. Um, he's probably just sitting there, just doing whatever he needs to do. And I watched him after he shot me, and he waited, then he just docked back up. Um, I never shot at him. I don't have any gunnery or anything like that on the cheetah. But um, I very easily, when I booted up this morning, all I had to do was do this little search, and this would have been so easy to know not to undock. Um, and if I would have logged off in space, I wouldn't have been in any issues. If I would have uh, logged off in a player-controlled station, if I would have just done it in high sec, it would have been a lot harder for him to do it because there's uh, a lot more defense in high sec. Um, I've seen it done in high sec before. But it's really hardcore ganking, not with a 300 million -ish ship. You're doing it with a bunch of little ships. If I can ever get a video for that. Look at that. There's an Estero that he got back on December 13th worth 1.05 billion isk. And another Imic... Oh, no, that's a 1.05 million. Okay. Now, if you want to have some fun, what I might suggest... I'm not saying to go after this guy in general, but... Analyze these guys who do this, and if you really want to go on the other side, figure out ways. No, no, no biting. Good girl, good girl. We're trying to teach her how to, not to chew on my thumb. There you go, she's getting better. Um, so that's how I died. Now, um, kind of the cool part is I recently just skilled into level 5 frigate for Amar, as well as frigate, as well as uh, the Minmatar. So now I can fly both the tier 2 exploration ships for both the Amar and the uh, Minmatar. So I might try out the Amarian uh, Tech 2 ship. So when I don't get upset anymore about losing stuff, um, it's because it just gives me another opportunity to try something else different. Uh, now, I will get a cheetah again, um, so that'll be fun. So, uh, that is what happened earlier today. Uh, if it helps you guys, uh, just uh, watch out for those things if it helps. Um, the second... So, I don't, I'm not going to have much... I'm not going to have any gameplay on today. I, I can boot up. I have. I got back to Malna. Um, uh, I'm going to reset all my blueprints that are out here and build some more ships. Um but uh, the second part was that I got an email from CCP. Um, and I don't know if you guys watched, how many of you guys have watched my videos for how long. I think people kind of come and go. Um, some of you guys have been with me from the beginning. Um, but a couple months ago, I did a funny video. I had so much fun making it. Um, where... I put in an application to become a partner member with CCP because I'm doing YouTube videos. Now, let me be really uh, transparent with this, as transparent as I can be. And then I'll actually go into the, I think, the final video that I'm going to point out if you guys want to watch it. Um, but, and it's actually really good listening to on, in a car, if you want to watch that, if you get done with mine. <laughs> um but uh, I requested to become a partner, but I knew I didn't meet all of their criteria. And I sent in a joke application 
where I said, I'm not actually uh, requesting to be a partner. I know I don't, I have to have, I think it's at least a thousand subscribers or um, a thousand views or something like that. And I, I'm just a little channel um, that could, um, but I actually put in the request that rather than become that, could they send me a uh, EVE Online um, coffee mug? And the best part about that was after the funniness of that video, one of you guys actually sent me a gift card where I could order a coffee mug, not CCP. You guys sent me, and I actually ordered a coffee mug, and it's up there. And I will pull it down tomorrow and drink from it. I don't want to do it right now because uh, somebody is at my feet and lying down, and I don't want to disturb her. Um, but you guys were awesome, and you sent me that. Um, in full transparency, uh, I make these videos because I like to do it for fun. Um it's something that I do. Someday I may just not do them anymore, but I'm doing it for over a year and a half now, and it's been great. Um, but long story short, uh, I'm never going to make any money doing Eve videos. Um, so, uh, but I wanted a coffee mug, and I got that coffee mug from you guys, not from CCP. But CCP did reply, finally, I think it was about two or three months ago that I put in that request. Um, and I got a form letter from them. There was no mention of the coffee mug. Um, it was obviously a cut and paste. I, I kind of wished that there would be something in there like, hey, uh, Planet Head, or hey, William Pilgrim, we appreciate your offer for the question for the mug. Uh, I was hoping somebody had watched it. Um, and no, it was, hello, talented capsuleer. Thank you for showing interest in joining EVE Online Partnership Program. Unfortunately, we are unable to accept your partnership program at this time. We are thrilled to see the talents of different crafts wanting to enhance the experience of EVE Online Players for Wilds. While we would love to accept them all, the partnership program consists only of a small percentage of all EVE Online content creators out there um and then there's more here keep in mind uh if you want to reapply in three months i might just do that and ask for a mug again <laughs> now here's a question is it three months from my initial request or is it three months from them send me this email because that would be pretty interesting but it was a, it was a i that it's fly safe um ccp community team so um it's too bad. I wish I would have at least gotten... I don't need a mug. I would have just liked um, some sort of personal, like, hey, we actually read your email. Um, so that would have been kind of cool. From somebody who used to work in the um, internet field uh, when it was first coming up, uh, I worked for a company by the name of Earthlink for five years. Um, and then I worked for Hewlett Packard, and I've done a lot of writing and corporate speak stuff. Uh, this was a, a really well-written corporate speak email. Um, copied and pasted, obviously, because I'm a talented capsuleer. <laughs> Exclamation mark. Um, so, yeah. Uh, does it have anywhere here? I could show it to you here. It's kind of funny. Um just want to make sure. I try to be a little bit safe with my stuff. Um, I can snip it. There we go. I'm not the most... Uh, where's my snipper? There it is. I should have pulled this up earlier. New. And then new. Come on. There we go. There we go. So there is the email. <laughs> Thank you for showing your interest. Keep in mind that this denial does not impact your chances of becoming a partner in the future. So please continue working on your content. Feel free to reapply after the next three months. Make sure to check out uh, the partnership. You can reapply to the partnership program after 90 days. Well, thank you so much. Uh, look forward to seeing you in New Eden. <laughs> 
Cheers to you, CCP. Um, it's all good. It's all good. I just wish I would have gotten just a little bit of something. I, just, I, I wanted it. I was more wanting to make somebody. What saddens me is I do this a lot at my job. I um, write notes to people. Really. Okay. I know. I know. Good girl. Good girl. Uh, I've worked in middle management for a long time. I also have worked in customer service uh, back in the day for a long time. I trained it. And it's a tough job. No, 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 off. I know, off. There you go. Um, and one thing I try to take from that, I'm old, and I try to carry that forward. Um, no, don't chew on the electric. Um, and I like to write quick notes. Uh, I took a little bit of a, um, I remember years ago I was watching an interview with Nick Offerman and he was talking to, about his marriage to Megan Mullally and he said, uh, the best gift, one of the best gifts you can give your partner is just, uh, to take a flower, um, take a piece of paper, take a flower that you know they'll like, mash it into the piece of paper, write something to the fact that you love that person and put it in there and say, and I was thinking about you or something to that effect. And I took a lot from that, not, you know, having significant others, but in general, people are just happy to know that there's somebody else out there that understands. And I like to see people smile. And that's really what that email was about. I had fun making it, uh, making the email and making the video. I got a coffee mug out of it from you guys. But um, I wanted the person on the other end of this to smile. And I do that at work a lot. I'll just leave, a, uh, I'll literally fold up a piece of paper, put a smiley face on it and say, great job. And I, I'll put something personal in that uh, letter. Like, uh, today I overheard you talking to so-and-so and something that maybe they didn't recognize that somebody saw. And, um, and I'll write, uh, I just want to say it inspired me to do something. Or, um, boy, the way you ran the meeting today was fantastic. Boom, boom, boom. And this is normally to anybody. I, it's not for the people that are below me or above me or to the left or right of me. Um, it's just, and I like doing that. And I wanted this email. So that's the only negative here is I, I got to cut and paste here. And I'm, I'm not going to keep digging into that. But if you can do that, if there's anything you get from this video, try it out sometime. It costs absolutely nothing. Go to your copier at work or a piece of paper at home. And if somebody says something cool to you, write it to them. Um, or if somebody does something cool that they don't know that anybody knows. Uh, there's an old phrase, I'm going to butcher this. Um, true, something to the effect of true, um, a per, that's what it is. It's something to the effect of a person's true metal or who they are is how they act when they think no one's watching. And um, so if, if you see somebody doing something, it could be you're at work and you see somebody picking up some trash, go over and say thank you or something like that. And I know that this time of year, holiday season can be a little bit tough. Um, but uh, I might write that guy an email today that killed me today um, and say, because it, it weirds people out too because they're not used to it, and say, hey, thank you for killing me today because you taught me what to watch out for to not die to. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> he can, if he watches my video, he can do it. Um, so that's that. Um, that's almost all I got here for today. I did want to pull up the last thing that I did here. Let me just grab the video that I just watched. I told you guys I was going to tell you about it. Really briefly, it's nothing special. It's just something if you want to listen to it. It's only about 15 minutes long, and it's all about uh, why passive income, like making YouTube videos, um, is really kind of not far-fetched, but very rare. And I've thought a lot about this lately while I'm watching YouTube videos. Um, why some people are really successful and can make money while other ones um, don't. Um, 
I got a little bit infatuated over the last six months to a year watching these van life videos where people build vans and travel the country. And you see them do this for a little while and then suddenly their videos stop. Or, um, and uh, I got a lot from that because the ones that continue are the ones that are just doing it to make the videos. Um, and, um, or they're in bikinis at the front of their their <laughs> their uh, SUV and traveling. But this was a really cool little video. Let me just grab my history here. There we go. And passive income. This is just a really good little... He's... Ah! Oh, I hate that stupid... I have these stupid commercials that come on. I can't get them to go away. Okay. So we're going to skip the ad. There we go. And literally, I watched this five minutes before I came on. Um, it's called the Passive Income Scam. Income Scam. And it's done by the Plain Bagel. First time I've ever watched his videos. I haven't subscribed yet, but I may check it out. I'll check out more to see if he's got more. Um, if I ever find stuff that I really like, there we go. It's just him talking and giving some examples. And he gets into YouTube later on and how he does this as a second job, but he doesn't really plan on it making money. But he talks about different types of passive income and how they really... Not, being somebody who um, had uh, two rental properties, he talks a little bit about that. Um, but uh, it's a really kind of cool little video thing if you want to listen to that. So... Um, that's about that. Um, I want to keep. I wanted to keep this one short, and then I stop talking. Um, I'm at 30 minutes, so if I post this now, it probably will get up around 9:15 p.m. tonight. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end the video now. I'm going to play some more, get my blueprints up and ready, and get ready to work. Uh, get ready for this weekend. I got to figure out what new ship I want to fly because I don't have my cheetah anymore. So maybe I'll do a fitting video on that tomorrow or something like that. Um, but other than that, that's all I got for tonight. Um, if you're wondering, um, uh, yeah, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt that I've worn the last two days, I think, uh, because it was free and it's really comfortable and I'll probably be wearing it a lot because it's cold here and it's really comfortable and warm. So if you see me with this shirt on a lot, <laughs> it's it's my comfy shirt, and I got comfy sweatpants on, and a comfy heated blanket here, and a comfy German Shepherd um, uh, uh, Husky Mix 10-month-old puppy at my feet right now to keep my feet warm. So, other than that, hey, fly safe, fly dangerously, fly out like you want, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one. Bye-bye.